we're going to talk about Glossier. I recently uh, did some Instagram stories about the brand and a bunch of people were like, oh, do you like them? Can you tell us how do you use them? Glossier is like this mystery. It's like they're not, they're not normal products. They're special products that let your natural beauty shine. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I was very curious and so I ordered a bunch of them and now I've been using them for a couple weeks and I have opinions. We have to talk about the Glossier ads because they're amazing. Every time I see them, I'm like, well, I really, I really want to look like that. I need to buy that. And then I realized that the girl in the ad, she, she just looks like that. I mean, she looks better, I guess, with the like flush on her cheeks, but, but like they just choose really attractive ladies. For us normal people, a full Glossier face is not an option. It's just not. So that's, let's start from there and move forward. The first product I'm going to show you is Super Glow Serum. The Glossier serums are, are pretty famous and rightfully so, they're good. This one is, it does what it says it's going to do. It's to glow. Okay, super, super not greasy. It absorbs right into the skin. Good, I like it. The next step is Priming Moisturizer. This is very light, very not greasy. By the way, because I can't see anything else when I look at myself in the mirror, we'll, we'll talk about this in a minute. This is a problem and we're gonna, we're gonna deal with that. The next product I'm going to use is the Perfecting Skin Tint. I use the light shade because I am vaguely Casper-ish. So this, is essentially a very light, very light foundation. It does not cover, it just evens everything out. This does make me feel sort of more even, but it, I still want a little extra coverage here and here in particular. Speaking of extra coverage, this right here is their stretch concealer. This concealer is great for certain things. It is not great for things like that. Let me show you. I would never typically put this much concealer under my eyes, but this particular product is so, it's so sheer and so buildable that you really can layer it on and it creates a lovely effect in places where you have redness, like here. But when you try to use it on an actual blemish, it just sort of, I don't know, it does okay, but it sort of, highlights it and doesn't really cover it. I don't know. I need something a little a little more heavy duty for my zits. That's the face or the skin done. You can still see this. Such is life. Next up, we have Cloud Paint. It's blush, but it has its liquid blush, so it goes on in this really sheer, lovely way that creates a very natural effect. This is called Dusk, this color. You can see it's sort of a pinky brown. I really like this product. I feel like it's very natural, and my friend Erin showed me this. She's a big fan of the products, and she's actually the one who introduced me to the line. And what you can do if you don't want to wear full eyeshadow is apply a little bit of Dusk just to your lids right here, and it just gives them a little bit of depth and a little bit of a creamy, sort of golden effect. The Boy Brow is another one of those sort of famous Glossier products. I really like it, and I'm really excited about what it specifically does to my eyebrows, but there is a big caveat, and that is that it only works on existing hair. So if you, like me, don't have hair in certain spots on your eyebrows, there's nothing for the pigment to grab onto so it doesn't work. I have to use a pencil to fill in any sparse spots before going in and using the boy brow to create fullness and to sort of neaten them up. I filled in my brows so that there's no bald patches and now the boy brow. See how you just brush it up 
and that makes your brows look better. See? There. Brows done. Just to check in here. You can see it doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup. Um, my skin looks a little bit better than it is with nothing on it. My eyes and eyebrows look like a little enhanced, but there's there, there's not like an overall like made up effect. And that's the point of blush today, I, I think, from as, as I understand it. The next product is rosebomb.com, which is sort of a terrible name, but that's okay. Forgive it because it is a really, really nice lip balm. Totally non-greasy, totally light. And then, last step, the Generation G lipstick. I have it in Cake, which is a sort of pinky brown, and this lipstick has a matte sheer effect. Barely there, just a tiny bit of enhancement. That is my experience with Glossier, and those are the products that I use. And I, I know I've been like laughing about it a little bit through this video, but I really like the line. I just think that you just you need to pick the right products. You might want to have a few extra products on hand because it, it might not be enough. So um, recommend it, especially on days when you already feel like you look pretty good. I'm Jordan Reed. Thank you for watching.